Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn about saving files with the save file dialog. So let's go ahead and create a new project and we will call it save files. Now just like the open file dialog, save file dialogs are built into Visual Basic and they're very easy to use and they keep you focused on what your application is doing and instead of having to work on coding uh, the dialogues yourself. So let's go ahead and come over here to our toolbox. We will add a text box. We'll make it multi line. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And let's add a button called save. So we'll just type save file. We'll set the name to button save. Now, what we need to do is come over here to our toolbox and double click on save file dialog. Now this will create an object of save file, di save file dialog um, that we can use in our program. So let's go ahead and double click on save file to open up the event handler for that. Now what you guys also need to know is that you don't have to come into your form one designer to add save file dialogs. You can also create um, instances of them just like object. So dim my file to save as new save file dialog so you can create object create objects with them um, inside of your code um, so that's just another way of doing it and this is what the designer does for you when you add stuff to the toolbox it just makes objects of it in your code but it's saved in a different file so let's go ahead and delete this here so what we want to do is let's use a simple if statement. So if textbox one dot text dot length is greater than zero, then we'll go ahead and show the dialog because we can't write nothing to a file. So we'll type save file dialog one dot show dialog. And now what we want to do is we want to save the file um, to whatever they named it. So we'll just type system.io.file.writeAllText. And for our path, we're just going to use the path that they gave us from save file dialog one. So save file dialog one dot file name. So this gets the path and the file name after that. And the contents of it is going to be textbox one dot text. So you can see that right here I use system dot o system dot io dot file dot write all text. Now this can be used for anything you want. Um, what we usually do is we import it, but sometimes you don't want to import it. You can just use the long version of it, and it will still work uh, exactly the same way. So let's go ahead and run this and see what kind of results we get. So let's go ahead and write coding in Visual Basic is fun. So when we click save file and when we click save file, it opens up this save file dialog. The default title is save as. So let's go ahead and go to the desktop and we will save it as um, corn.txt. Now you can also set filters so they can so that they can only save it as certain data types and we'll be going over that uh, in later tutorials so it's going to be saved as corn.txt we'll go ahead and click save and you can see here well you can't see it but I have an, a file on my desktop let me just drag it in right there so you can see it and let's go ahead and open that and you can see that it says coding in Visual Basic is fun so what we did is we just created a save file dialog and if they have actually typed something in here then it's going to go ahead and show that dialog and it's going to write all the text of that into the file that they specified and from use the text from textbox one so go ahead and practice a little bit with save file dialogs you can also change the attributes of them just like you could with the open file dialogs um, and then once you've got those down go ahead and move on to the next tutorial 